Lighters up, Capricorn. It's your girl, the Stoner Girl Tarot. And I am back with your Mercury Retrograde in Libra reading. We're going to see what foolishness you can expect during this retrograde. So thank you so much for tuning in and joining me on this smoke session. And thank you for subscribing and hitting that notification bell to be notified of the next smoke session. Capricorn, this is... Like I said, a Mercury retrograde, for those of you who don't know, Mercury retrograde happens about three times a year. And during this time, communication is delayed or slow. Uh, travel is delayed. You could have problems with your technology, your electronics, fights, arguments, people coming back into your life. So we're going to see how Mercury retrograde will affect you. If you haven't already, roll up with me, light up with me. Roll up with me, light up with me. <laughs> Drop down in the comments and let me know what you're smoking on. And if you don't smoke, no worries. You're still more than welcome here. Capricorn, just to let you know, this is not a personal reading. It's not. It's a general reading for the collective. So everything may not resonate with you. That's cool. Take whatever applies and let the rest fly. Bottom of the deck, we have eight of wands here. So this is fast moving energy someone may be coming towards you or vice versa you could be receiving a phone call or a communication from someone or this is you wanting to reach out to someone so we are going to see what's in store for you capricorn spirits what's the energy for mercury retrograde for capricorn What's the energy for Mercury Retrograde for Capricorn? <clears throat> Peace and blessings to all of you. I hope you're doing well and safe. Uh-oh. You may get into an argument with this communication. So right now, um, I get the feeling like you're losing patience with some someone. Maybe you're losing patience with yourself. Someone could be looking at you as like you're, you're unreliable, so they need to move away from you. This could be also a physical move. Um, there's also like drama over someone. Maybe you feel like someone has options or maybe someone feels like you're ignoring them because you have options or that you're just maybe you're not interested anymore. Maybe for some of you, I feel that you have a temper or someone around you your person has a temper what other messages do you have for capricorn these cards are like i don't know what it is maybe it's the energy these cards are like really Dicky could be dealing with a Scorpio. Maybe you have Scorpio in your chart. You could also be dealing with an Aries. This is um, Capricorn. You may be trying to control this this situation by trying to avoid a tower moment maybe you just don't have feelings for this person maybe at one point you did maybe at one point your person did so expect this energy to come out for you during mercury retrograde mercury retrograde is happening now and it ends on october 18th now there is what's called a post shadow phase where you could go through the same shit again and that lasts until november 3rd but yeah it's like someone this could be a situation where it's like you know no i don't want a relationship or maybe you broke up with this person maybe you stopped seeing this person but you're like no we can be cool but i don't want you know anything else and maybe you are kind of like well not kind of like maybe you are like rationing your attention to this person or maybe you're rationing, you know, your conversation with this person. And because of that, there's been some drama 
there's been some conflict. Okay. So let's see how your, what energy your person has during this time. Give me a thumbs up if this is resonating for you so far. Tell me about Capricorn's person, spirit. Tell me about Capricorn's person. Tell me about Capricorn's person. <clears throat> person could be juggling. Let's see. What messages do you have for Capricorn's person? What's the energy of Capricorn's person? Okay, Taurus energy here with the Empress in reverse. We also have Aquarius energy with the Empress in reverse. Someone's feelings are hurt and maybe they saw that they were the ideal person for you um, with this queen of wands and four of wands. Maybe they felt like you were the person that they could build a foundation with or maybe you gave them that impression. They still have hope that this will grow into something more. What other messages do you have? What other messages do you have? Someone may not be getting what they want in this situation. Well, yeah, they're not because there's conflict from your spread. Someone is definitely not letting go of someone from the past or something that happened in the past. We do have someone here, Capricorn, that wants to invest because they do have feelings for you with the Two of Cups here. But it's like they don't... <sighs> The thing that's holding them back is that you or them may be holding on to some shit that happened in the past. Yeah, maybe they feel that, you know, the, with the Knight of Swords energy here, um, you're in and out of their life. And with this King of Wands here, maybe they feel like you are using them as a convenience. Now, I'm reading for the person that you're thinking about, Capricorn, but the energy can be reversed. So, you know, take it how it resonates. So that's your person, Capricorn. And keep in mind, um, if you are experiencing any type of friction, communication issues, arguments, I mean, it's the time for it. And I'm not blaming all arguments on Mercury retrograde. But what I am saying is that logically, because it is in Libra, our logic is slowed down. So maybe we're more emotional and we can't really hear what the other person is saying because we're so emotional. So we're extra sensitive and it's easy for us to get into our feelings right now. Six of Swords here at the bottom of the deck. I'm about to ask, you know, what's the obstacle and the outcome? Someone may be moving, like I said before. This may be a physical move. For some of you, this situation is the way it is because someone is moving or is at least thinking about moving. And maybe this person feels that you are moving away from them. So with the obstacle here, we have Virgo energy with the Hermit in reverse. Someone doesn't want to come out of hiding and it may be because they're hurt. They're depressed over what has happened. There's also the chariot here. So you may be dealing with a cancer as well. So there's a sense of not only do I not want to talk, not only do I not want to come out of hiding, 
I'm just not really interested. This is the obstacle. I'm not interested because someone is giving their affection and someone just doesn't want to receive it. Someone may be going through a depression right now and maybe that's why they're in hermit mode. Maybe that's why you can't reach this person or talk to this person because they're just not receptive. Yeah, someone is letting go of the situation, yes, but it's like they're mourning. They're going through a mourning process. Tell me more about the obstacle. Yeah, Sagittarius energy here, Pisces energy here. So we have two energies that want something different. On one end, we have someone who just doesn't want to be bothered to make it plain. They don't want to be bothered. But then on the other end, we have someone who has, again, someone has hope. They can't put their finger on it, but they know that this situation can be balanced again with the temperance card here. Um, but for right now, during this Mercury retrograde, this is causing someone to go within. This is this is causing someone to just go within and go in hermit mode. And they're not really trying to entertain communication or reconciling right now. So what's the outcome for Mercury retrograde season for Capricorn and their person? Again, we have Taurus energy here with the Empress. So again, someone wants to um, make this work. And we have a lot of, well, not a lot, but we got, yeah. We have heartbreak because someone just doesn't want to come through or come close to the other person. Um, Page of Swords, they could have, again, we're talking about communication, miscommunication. So with this Page of Swords, this person could be heartbroken over something that they saw or over something that they heard or over something that they were told, which is causing this two of cups in reverse. Like the two of you can't get together. Someone is walking away with the eight of cups in reverse and someone is like hurt, like even jaded, especially with the eight of pentacles in reverse here. It's like someone, there's also like a feeling of frustration because it's like I gave and gave and gave. When are you gonna give something to me? You know, and I think that's where this hope is coming in from. Like someone is really hoping that the other person will eventually, hopefully sooner than later, um, give, will reciprocate basically. Someone is hoping that the other person will match their energy and reciprocate. So that's the energy for your Mercury retrograde Capricorn. Um, leave me a comment and let me know if this is resonating for you again, you know, once we get out of Mercury retrograde communication will be better. We'll be as a collective more open we will be more logical, less emotional when we will know because next is Scorpio season, but there won't be any hiccups when it comes to communication. You can say what you really mean and what you really feel and people will take it as that. Okay. I hope that makes sense. So I am going to draw a crystal Oracle card for you. And this card, whatever card that comes out is the stone that spirit feels will help you with this energy of this reading. So we have lapis lazuli. And this is a good crystal for the throat and throat chakra and your third eye. This is a master of communication. So it's going to give you strength so that you can speak your truth. And this is good because like I said, we're dealing with mercury retrograde energy. And yeah, so it can also help you with your intuition. So if you have this crystal, let me know and also let me know if it works well as far as, you know, the way that 
you communicate and the way that you receive information, Capricorn, okay? So thank y'all so much for tuning in, and I'll see you on the next smoke session.